Hello guys, and welcome to episode 34 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign, playing as Isabella von Karstein, leading the Vampire Counts to world domination. Today, we're hopefully going to be finishing off Kazrak, and that will allow us to colonize lots more land, get our income back into the positive rather than the negative. Uh, we're continuing our way over here. We're actually bordering the Caravan of the Blue Roses, which is apparently a Gorse faction. So thank you to you guys in the comments for letting me know about that. I did not realize at all. Uh, yeah, that's handy. Good. We do need to become Good. friends with him. Uh, so I am going to give him a gift. Speak your words and be gone. We'll use some of our money to be kind. A generous gift is 19,000. Uh. <laughs> okay. Well... Have that and be friendly with us. Thank you. That's a lot of money to give. <laughs> He's pretty big, actually. It seems like he has quite a lot of ground. He's got the Valley of Horns, the Great Hall of Greasus. He looks like he... Wait, did he wipe out Goldtooth? Got Pig Barter and Ruins End. Like, maybe he owns, owns a big chunk here. That'd be really, really good for our world domination, actually. Uh, because it would save me from having to go through all of the mountains there. That is big. Very nice. Okay. Um, for this turn, I'm not sure there was much else left to do. Debt's uh, just having a look around. Finding out what's going on up here. As uh, a shink, we're going to leave as is. Uh, Solund over here. Not really much to do. Don't really want to fix that up. We don't need to upgrade that. Okay. One turn until we get the healing cap for zombies. That's good. Not that we really heal up zombies that often, to be honest. They're usually healing up something that's a bit more important than zombies. Okay. Uh, I think that's fine. Let's just double check quick deals. Yeah, we're all good. Okay. Let's move on. Be good when Morf Morthen takes uh, Brass Keep for good. We wipe out Fecundites. Like, that's going to be massive when we take out the Fecundites for good. I mean, I think they have two settlements, but still. Uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very good for us. And then we're going to have to go back and attack Norsker again. But we have the armies to do it, so it's all good. And uh, is this Reikland just suiciding? A heroic victory. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great stuff. And they just lost three units attacking that again. They didn't even take it. Okay. This is just getting silly. Well, at least they raised it. That makes sense. They want a peace treaty. We're not going to do that. They're then going to attack us. That's totally fine. All right, and here we are. Migration. Do we want a migration? Uh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, growth is nice, but yeah. I don't want to like deal with any public order issues. Malekith has a sort of cane. That's actually pretty scary. Malekith is a scary boy. Ice Court's dead. Your bike is live. All right. Over to Isabella. Time for you to take on Archeon and Warlick at the same time. Let's show them what we're made of. This is going to be ludicrous. Yeah, I think the plan is just to actually go up here and take out Archeon for good. We can take out Tong while we're on the way up there as well. So that'll be two more factions destroyed. I don't really care if um, Dolgan wants to come up and take all of these, but hopefully won't get through the plans of, plains of Zambajan. We'll see. Um, yeah, we'll attack Warwick. Valiant defeat. I don't think so. I'm probably just going to keep... All my flyers out of the battle as usual 
Uh, my black coach can stay out the way. The black coach is just such a liability. <laughs> it really is. We'll have good old Vlad start ahead of us. And then we can catch up to him. I don't know if I want to bring the Varg off with me. It might just die. Or does, does it matter if it dies? I mean, not really. Like I, I kind of just need this army to just be Isabella, the vampires, and Vlad. Like, that's literally it. It does nothing else matters. Right, in you go, Vlad. And we can bring the Varg off. Like, come on, kitty. Come join us. Hungry for blood. This is probably more like a dog than a cat, but... Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. All right. And so it begins. <laughs> we just speed it up. Let's kill this guy. Blood magic. The Vargolf is taking some serious damage. I don't think the Vargolf's gonna live through this. Piling in, that's good. Soon we'll just do Tormentor Sword. I think I might do an upgraded pit of shades. Curse of years. Oh boy, here comes the damage. <laughs> <laughs> One spell. 60,000 damage. Easy peasy. The Vargolf's living. That's something. Uh, we'll put the hexes onto the leaders. Where did that air unit go? I don't know. I want to speed things up. I think we'll just do another upgraded bit of shades, to be honest. Put it on this side. We'll heal up the Vargolf a bit more. The Vargolf does have its own regen, which is apparently it's under flame attacks right now. I think they keep spirit leeching it. Unless they're spirit leeching Isabella now. Maybe. Can I use this blood chalice on a Vargolf? No, I can't. Blood frenzy. Alright, let's wait a little bit longer. And we should be able to torment the sword again in seconds. We'll wait for these to charge back in. Skull crushers of corn. And we can do this. And then we can do this. And while that's in the sky, we do this. <laughs> that looks so cool. But it does absolutely no damage unless units are in the sky. <laughs> Is 
Isabella. Vampire. Pulverize their skulls. Kind of tempted to try a purple sun. Your desire. Pulverize their skulls. We are the new order. I think that's already doing nearly as much damage. Looks cool though. Is that Archeon? Archeon's attacking my beast. My Vargolf. So rude. I think my Vargolf's dead. He might get dead rise again, but like I said, I don't really mind that much. I can try and heal him. Keep him alive. Give him the red fury as well. It will actually do some damage. Crush the breathers. Isabella von Karstein. Find me if you dare. And we're gonna do another normal pit of shades now. How much damage are we up to? 170,000 almost. It looks like the upgraded one does way more damage because its armor piercing damage is increased. Oh, well, that is victory. Okay, we'll just leave it there. That's fine. A heroic victory. A surprise. <laughs> the Vargolf survived. We probably want to keep him out of those engagements in the future. We'll just take money. Thank you very much. And kill him off. Money. Kill Archeon off. Blood. Oh, we can't. Sad. We still take attrition in enemy territory there. Oh, my Barkov might actually die to attrition. That would be really sad. Ooh, nice. A Talisman of Preservation. That's big. I'm going to give that to my Shadow Magic lady. She's very important in this army. And I'm going to give this one a talisman. Opal amulet's fine. An arcane item? Maybe forbidden rod's okay. Oh, we already have an arcane item or had an arcane item. We need an enchanted item. The ruby ring. Yeah, maybe we just get more chance to cause terror. It's fine. Okay, over to Wilmar. Wilmar is zooming down here to take care of even Blight. Totally fine. We did level up in the meantime. Uh... Undying Horde maxed out is probably the best thing to do. 
Yeah. And cool on the radar. Already maxed out here, more or less. Let me get the conviction upgrade. Right over to Warborgd. Now Warborgd is one of those people that actually uses zombies, which is kind of funny. Um, we're not in range to hit Mount Greyhag, which is a pain. I'm going to move across like so. Maybe we can put a bit of pressure onto this army not to attack us in Crookback Mountain. And again, Crookback Mountain might actually be able to hold there. We'll see. Uh, what happened to... That's annoying. We're not going to be able to find him, are we? Right, let's just colonize. Strike out! I have no idea where he went. March. More sleep shine. And he won't take an ambush on us. So we'll just start fixing these up. Look on me. Okay, time for Ulrich to move on and attack Akold, maybe? We have Monath Morph and ready to take Brass Keep, so let's just do that. A Pyrrhic victory that will loot and occupy. And we should get plenty of replenishment this turn. I don't think there's any real way that they're going to be able to attack that, so it should be fine. We can take the Red Pit, we can do Gibbet, and probably Walls. Get the carriages of death upgrade for the most engines, and then we have Thibault. You can go for magical reserves. I think it's supposed to be pronounced like Thibault, right? I don't know. Anyway, Ulrich. Yeah, we kind of need to come down to Kaffelberg just in case, I think. I'm going to go around this way. And I'm going to go in raiding starts. And next turn we should be able to hit Wolfenberg. The likelihood is that he'll jump back over and try and get to Wolfenberg. That's what I'm hoping, if we're putting pressure on it. Okay. Volker's heading down. Uh, we need to try and get over here. Maggot. What a name. It's coming after us. What a name. Alright, Lisa Von Diesel. Now that is a name. <laughs> Uh, plus Heinrich Kemmler. Do we go for Waterfall Palace? We could. We could. I mean, this is a close victory, apparently. Uh, but I don't know if I want to auto resolve that. If there's another army nearby. Mm. Doesn't look like it. I think. Like, whilst we can hit Waterfall Palace this turn, I don't think we do. Uh, I think we go for Canellus. And Massive Orcal. So I'm just going to encircle this, and we're going to bring down Kemla with us, so that he gets experience. And we take less damage from the Order Resolve. By moving this way, he might be able to hit Massive Orcal next turn. And then we can have Lisa Von Diesel just like run after him and uh, help him out. 
which would be an easy order to resolve. That's actually a level 5 settlement, so we should be able to raise that for a bunch of money. That is what I'm hoping. He's not in range to hit Frozen Landing, that's sad. Oh, hello, Throg. That's uh, a little unfortunate. I just realised it was in raining stance, so we can take that. Um, we will just occupy it. Pop in the gibbet. And we'll level up Carriages of Death. And hopefully, if Throg attacks us, we should be okay. Oh, we actually got a barrow there. Right, Milland's leveled up. Darkness comes. Ah, what are we going to do with him? Like, he's literally just a Mortis Engine army. And Felix gains, I think, can take the order resolve here. Gonna kill get some of the garrison, but we'll take replenishment. That's gonna kill. <laughs> kill him once again. Tell you what, Felix gains is an absolute chad. He really is. Right, we're going to do Carriage of Death already because we're getting more Sentience next turn. Give me a huge upgrade for him. Replenish troops, that's really good. Oh, upgrade Ray's dead. Very, very nice. Uh, Joss. <laughs> that's a 1% chance. We do a Joss. Kind of tempts to send Joss like south to go and find um, Manfred if he's still alive. I don't think he is. Yes, my son. Move, kill, refuse it. Mm, she almost got the job done. Okay, we can stop like assassinating people soon, because as soon as we get like the bloodline awakened, I don't need to really do that anymore. I mean, it is kind of helpful because it stops all the agent actions. If I'm just fast forwarding through the turns anyway, like it barely matters. Oh, we assaulted the units there as well. Very cool. Good job, Reginald. If it's a woman. Just yes. keep scouting these out. This clan Moors is going to be doing some damage here. Uh, I like Dower's bag is under siege by lots of Skaven slaves. Marching. Moving. Now. Uh, she's more or less maxed out down here, so we just keep going through to get pit of shades, and then we can eventually pop her in an army. I thirst. It's Carlotta. She's coming up for Roderick, right? Borders. Make sure that he's got a pit of shades, because at the moment you will just have a pretty trash spells. Purple sun. <laughs> That's fine. Alright, so Shank. Still don't care about fixing that up. And we don't care about upgrading that. Commandment available. Definitely go for money. Thank you very much. Don't care about outposts. Take money there. Take money here. Good. 
Good. All right. So I'm just thinking... There must be places where we can build more gibbets. Kind of difficult to tell, though. Obus like good example. Because it's basically free money. I don't know if we need to do it Forest of Glean because then we might lose that. Kind of Kangazar. Uh, Momfor. Uh, anywhere else. Upgrading Erengren is a terrible idea. Once we actually clear out Norska. Because it does give us a port building that's special that gives us lots of income. I might actually fix Wissenberg. It looks like that army is probably just going to auto resolve itself till it dies. I ended up going through every single one, didn't I? <laughs> well, we could finally get Blood Knights from Castle Drakenhof if we wanted to invest in that. A little risky spending 9,000 when I'm still losing 2,000 a turn, though. I think we'll leave it for now. Let's just move on. I don't expect anything crazy to happen in the end turn. I did have some of you guys recommend that I try and take an army from the ogres. But I'm not sure if there's going to be an army that I actually want. So, really, <laughs> they had to reinforce that. Thou shalt treat me with the okay. And Richtus would like a peace treaty. I don't even know. Like, is that just this army? I will say no. Like, I will go find them. Kill them off. It's totally fine. Oh, they did go for Kappelberg. They raised it. Okay. Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. Because I don't have the reinforcements and I'm in March Dance. <laughs> where did he come from? Is this actually the first battle where I'm actually going to have to try and escape? I think if we escape though we just die again, right? We're in March Dance. Well, goodbye Kemler. We might be able to pull this yes. off. It just depends what his army's got in it. Like, if it's like a crappy beastman army, we might win. If it's more than that, then we lose. <laughs> like, if it's Minotaurs and. Oh god, there's a giant. And best to hurt. Oh god. Oh god, and Chaos Spawn. Right. This is really bad because our corpse cuts are not going to be nowhere near. <laughs> my corpse cuts are going to be nowhere near my blob, which is really bad. Just come forwards, guys. Managed to get rid of some of the Angor Raiders at least. And currently, my Crypt Horrors are holding up some of his army. I just have no idea how we deal with the giant. 
death has come! Slaughter! See my sepulchral art! Cops cat! <laughs> If I can get the corpse carts over here, we might genuinely have a chance, I think, but yeah, it's probably not going to happen, not with Morga following. And Morga has the AoE damage ability, basically like a Mortis engine. The garment. Maybe I can heal it enough to get over here. I want the Balefire one more than anything. This uh, corpse cut only really buffs our melee attack, whereas the Balefire one's actually useful. And the Balefire one's gone. Classic. We are very close to just losing because of basically. Army losses. <laughs> At once. We're down to like half our army. Uh, I can't land while the chaos spawner there. This is really bad. How are these Chaos Spawn attacking me? Also, what sort of summon is that? The Krell really has to try and take down this giant for me. <laughs> uh, we could also try and take out... Hmm. One problem we are having, actually, is Morga is doing his refresh ability thing, which is a bit annoying. Go on, Krell. Have at him. Try and get him topped off. Probably should have already used the Cloak of Mists and Shadows. Kyla's a beast though. Hold on. Come on Krell, take out the giant. There you go. Where is Krell? Axe of Krell. Krell, just hit him. <laughs> Stop standing there like a lemon. Shall die. Atrophy and 
Well, looks like we'll go down with this ship. I mean, if anything, it just allows the other army to finish off Morga temporarily. But, damn. Crowley is good, but he just really wasn't hitting at all there. That's sad. Yeah, not having my corpse guards close. Tough. Tough battle. Should be an easy win for our other army. We did get Des Rise again, but I think that army just gets destroyed because it was a march dance. Oh, here comes the Rog. Another battle. Rog is scary, but I think we've got this one handled at least. I'm gonna have to save my terror geists, I think keep them out of the fight just to deal with Rog. We're gonna blob up over here. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's start the battle. Speed things up. Our reinforcements are just a bunch of crappy units that can Stand in the middle. Interesting in they're committing to the terror guests. Uh, I will heal up the terror guests while we're here. And I'm also going to drop the Ray's Dead on top of this, just to bog things down a bit more. Alright, let's just commit to this engagement. Skin Wolves are coming in, it's totally fine. I'm going to put these on guard, so if they can't get to the unit they're trying to attack, They attack something else. We'll start spirit leeching Throg. I need to get my terror guys out of here if I can. I need to get him out of there. Because I need his breath attacks. One of the terror guys up and about. We need food, and right, if he's going to take off, he's going to fly away because they're doing a bunch of damage. Let's have the terror guys specifically go for Throg. We'll line up the breath attacks. Didn't hit as well as I'd hoped. Yes. 
Mortis engine. Need these most engines to be in melee. It's very important. Gonna say, how are they not routing? We can breath attack again. Just need to be careful where I place this. That was actually not too bad at all. Right, we're just gonna heal up whatever we can. I kind of want to heal himself up, but what's this unit? We'll get them. And we need Spirit Leech. That's victory. I'm not sure why Roderick's so slow on this dragon. It's, it seems like he's flying in slow mo all the time. Pretty weird. We'll kill off Throg at least. Okay, that'll do. Are oh, these Norsk and Ice Trolls just fighting to the death, huh? Okay, that's fine by me. One less unit I have to worry about. Good, that was pretty clean. Yeah, if I had a couple more centers with hybrid camera, I imagine. Although they would have been caught out in the ambush, maybe, so <laughs> yeah, maybe not. A heroic victory. And a bunch of replenishment, please. Thank you very much. Hey, one thing. Heinrich Kemmler dying gave us positive income. <laughs> I don't think there was really anything we can do to avoid that, unfortunately. He should just be... wounded, if anything. He's actually got plus 5% hit points from that body counter. <laughs> Beated the rog. Instructor, spell shield. He's wounded. That's totally fine, yeah. We'll get him back. We'll give him a better army. Like, his army was literally there just to help Lisa von Diesel do his thing, but we'll just probably pop out another one with somebody else and then put Heinrich Kemmler in charge when he comes back alive. In the meantime, we can probably wipe Morga with Lisa von Diesel because in an open field battle, Lisa von Diesel's army is actually really good, so... Like a lot of these Ungol herd, Ungol spearmen herd and stuff like that will die very easily and then it will just be the Chaos Spawn, the Giant and Morg himself that I've got to what? deal with. He is a blood dragon so he might be able to do the trick. He is on a dragon so we'll see. That is it for now though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.